suite of models has been developed by the Natural Capital Project over the last 10 years through a series of collaborative applications in real-world decision contexts. The models were developed to address the need for relatively simple tools based on sound science that provide information that is directly relevant to resource management decisions affecting ecosystem services. Each of the INVEST models have been developed with similar attributes in mind. They're designed to be simple models that, when used together, allow for multi-service assessments. They're applicable across the globe using relatively easily available data. They're flexible in scale, relevant to many different kinds of decisions. And also, we have a commitment to making them all free and open source. Our INVEST models follow a production function approach. What we're seeking to understand with these models is the relationship between changes in ecosystem structure and benefits to people. We analyze that relationship by measuring changes in ecosystem services. This follows a classical ES framework. We start with ecosystem service supply, or the quantity of service that's feasible for a given landscape to provide. Then we use the location, activities, and preferences of beneficiaries of that service to translate the service all the way from supply to value. This framework allows us to take the social context and social values into account. Our experience has shown that INVEST studies are most effective when they're part of an iterative science policy process. This process includes some common elements that we've seen over and over again in our applications. First, it's important to scope out the problem to define partnerships and goals. Next, compile data on ecosystem services of interest. The next step is to develop baseline understanding of ecosystem services on the current landscape and to develop scenarios of policy changes or land management changes that could happen in the future and would affect the flows of ecosystem services. The next step then is to evaluate what the impacts of those policy changes or those scenarios might be on the ecosystem services of interest to synthesize the results in terms that stakeholders and other beneficiaries understand and in a way that's relevant to the policy decision, because ultimately the goal is to inform the decisions. And along the way, at each step of this process, we're iterating and building capacity with stakeholders to understand ecosystem services concepts and to use the tools, such as INVEST, to evaluate those outcomes. The INVEST models are often used in the assess outcome stage because they provide a quantitative way to translate from scenarios to ecosystem service outcomes. INVEST uses spatially explicit data for current land or sea use along with plausible scenarios of future changes in that use to map the gains and losses of the services that are being modeled on a landscape or a seascape. Historically, we've grouped INVEST into different kinds of models depending on whether they're freshwater and terrestrial models or whether they're coastal and marine models. As of INVEST 3.3, there are 19 models in all. The freshwater terrestrial models are habitat quality, annual and seasonal water yield, sediment retention, nutrient retention, carbon storage, managed timber production, crop pollination, and crop production. The coastal marine models in the INVEST suite are recreation, which is also applicable to terrestrial recreation as well, aquaculture, fisheries, coastal vulnerability, renewable energy from waves and wind, scenic quality, water quality, habitat risk assessment, and blue carbon. Many of our models include sample data that you will need to get started. Because these models are driven by changes in ecosystem structure, the main input data that you need to provide are going to be data that describe that structure. The majority of our models require spatial data, for example, elevation, land cover, or ecosystem extent, and subwatersheds. Model outputs are also typically spatial, so you visualize them in a GIS, or Geographic Information System. Alternatively, you can analyze the tabular data as you would any other data set. The INVEST software suite is a standalone software program. As such, it does not require a GIS program to run, However, GIS is required to process model inputs and outputs. There are many additional sources of information about INVEST and each model contained in the suite. Most important is the INVEST user guide and documentation, which details the basics about, about each INVEST model, including assumptions and limitations of the model, as well as data needs and guidance on interpreting results. This also provides necessary information for starting to use the models. 
A final key channel for support is our online community found at NatCap forums. NatCap staff and other members of our community of practice are available online to answer a wide variety of questions and provide support for technical difficulties that you may run into. You can find the NatCap forums at forums.naturalcapitalproject.org.